slash advanced. It's more upper level, intermediate, lower level, advanced, I would say, combination for you to a really cool song. It is called Liar by Kid Cadet. Um, Kid Cadet is a really, really cool girl that I've worked with um, in conventions, and she does like moderating for panels and wrestling announcement and stuff like that. She is awesome. And her song, I heard it and I was like, I am blown away. I am totally going to choreograph this. And I wanted to share this song with you so that not only can you check out her music, but also dance to a really cool, what I consider to be like girl punk song. It's, it's it has a very Paramore vibe to it. I really like it. I hope you guys like it too. So let's get started. Okay. So it starts with five count rip, seven count rip. It's pretty quick. And a one and two and a three E and a four. So that's the rhythm for it. And a one and two and a three E and a four. So five count rip, seven count rip. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, four. So you have that two extra heel for that seven count. So let's just do that. Five, six, seven, eight. And a one and two and a three E and a four. And you want to try to keep those rips as even as possible. Then you have shuffle, step heel, shuffle, step heel. Shuffle, toe, toe, step heel, stamp, the scissor step. Shuffle, toe, toe, step heel, stamp. Let's go over that really, really quick. Um, I do this in a lot of my videos, but just in case you're new, I got you. So you have shuffle, and then toe stand, right, left, come down on it, step, heel on the right, stamp. So that shuffle, toe, toe, step, that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Shuffle, toe, toe, step, heel, step. Feel a little faster. Five, six, seven, eight. Way faster. Shuffle, toe, toe, step, heel, step. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so it's like even faster than that. <laughs> I do have an option for intermediate if that step gets you, but your tempo is going to be and a one and two and a three. So timing wise, that's in a one and two and a three e and a four and a five e and a six e and a seven and a eight. So let's do that together. Five, six, seven, eight. And a one and two and a three e and a four. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. So you want to keep it as even as possible. And a five e and a six e and a seven and a eight. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight. you pick them up or of which you pick them up is different but 
picking them up is non-negotiable. So when I teach pullbacks, I teach them that you have to start with an overemphasized pickup. That's way too much. You don't need to do that, but it guarantees a separated sound. And then you have to learn how to keep that separation while also making it smaller. Yeah, I didn't like kick my own butt with that, but I still got that same da, 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 da. Separate your sounds by picking them up this way, back here. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. We have ball change, pull back, ball change. That da, 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 ball change. So going back to the five count rip, you have a one and two and a three and a four, five and six and seven and eight. So that snap is not really there. So timing wise, we just did that. Let's try it together. Five, six, seven, eight. Five and six and seven and eight. One more time. pause between the seven count rip and the ball change pullback. It's like a half count. All right, let's go back to the beginning. So we have five count rip, seven count rip, shuffle, 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 and a five count rip, and a seven count rip, ball change pullback, ball change. So there's no space here. And a five and a six and a seven and a eight and a one. When you start the next line, there's no space there. But there is between so there's a space before it and a space after the ball change pullback. It makes a lot more sense for music. Let's just try that with music and see what happens, okay? Four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and a eight. 
So that's the timing. One knee and a two, and a three knee and four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and a eight. Just that together. Five, six, seven, eight. Change step, shuffle heels, shuffle heels, shuffle, shuffle, step, stand. One more time, a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, ball, change, step, shuffle, ball, change, step, shuffle, heel, shuffle, heel, shuffle, 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 It's kind of that shave and a haircut, two bits. Um, rhythm. Da, 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 da. So think about that rhythm, but it goes with the bass line. Here we are throwing it to the bass line for a second. So you have one and then two and then three and then four and then five and then six and then seven and then eight. One and then two and three and four. So you hold that three. Then you have two Cincinnati's ending in a toe. And it's my version of Cincinnati's, which means you start with a step. Nothing changes about the step. You're just starting at this part instead of, you're starting basically at the end. So, interesting way to put it. I thought about drawbacks for a second. You're actually starting stepping and then doing two Cincinnati's. So don't, if you need to think about it, like say you start with a spank, that's fine, but you're stepping and then doing two Cincinnati's. If you're with me, if you do my style all the time and you're like, wait, Cincinnati's do start with a step, they can, and I have them, and that's how I do them. It is two Cincinnati's my way, or a step and two Cincinnati's other ways. Anyway, back to what we were doing, you did. Then you have step, spank, heel, shove, full heel, step, spank, heel, shove, full heel, toe. So it's step, spank, heel, shove, full heel, step, spank, heel, shove, full heel, toe. It's step, and then you have spank, heel, shove, full heel, step, spank, heel, shove, full heel, toe. If you needed it, separated it, separated that way. If not, it's two of these. Step, spank, heel, shove, full heel, step, spank, heel, shove, full heel, toe. With a toe at the end. However you needed it, hopefully I explained it. So, you just did one and a two, three, ball change, five and a six and a seven and a eight. So it's a little quick. So go from step and a riff, heel, ball change. So you have five, six, seven, eight, one and a two and three and four, five and a six and a seven and a eight. So after that ball change, there's another half count pause. One and a two and three and four, one more time, back. Five, six, seven, go. Okay, so going back to waltz clog and putting that together, and then we'll go back to the top. You have waltz clog, waltz clog step. Shuffle heel, shuffle heel, shuffle, shuffle, little stamp. Step and a riff heel. Ball change, Cincinnati, all right, and that is 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So go from all clock, all together. Go from the top. 
from five count reps. Five, six, seven, go. And a five count.
time and then we go into the next line. Five, six, seven, eight. Your right foot is free. You have syncopated drawbacks. I love syncopated drawbacks. It's my drawbacks also start with a step. I don't know if anybody just saw I totally just slipped off my floor, <laughs> but it's fine. I survived. Um, I start my drawbacks with a step as well, just like my Cincinnati's. This is just my style. If you're gonna keep doing my videos, I highly suggest you add my that type of thing to your rep, <laughs> just so that you're you're not lost whenever we do these. Because I understand it's different. 90% of the tap dancers do it the other way. I'm just over here being super defiant, like a little punk, <laughs> going, no, I want to do it with the step first. And I've explained that in my vlog as well. So if you guys need an explanation as to why I'm so weird, check out my vlog, <laughs> my Q&A thing. Anyway, so syncopated drawbacks. It's just drawbacks. The counts are what make it syncopated. So you're just going one, two, three, four, and then you have ball change. But the counts are what make it syncopated. So you're going step, chain, kill, step, chain, kill, step, chain, kill, step, chain, kill, ball change. The counts being five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, five, and two, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. They're syncopated because the downbeat happens on the and, because we're taking a triplet step and putting it over four. I can do a whole thing on music theory someday. So you have step, ankle, step, ankle, step, ankle, step, ankle, ball, change. So let's do that with me. It's pretty quick. It's one E and a two E and a three E and a four and. It's pretty quick. Five, six, seven, eight. So do that with me again. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, ankle, step, ankle, step, ankle, step, ankle, step, ankle, ball, change. One more time. Then you have two more. Step in, close, step in, close. Ball change. And you can either do a pullback or a syncopated wing. I'm going to be doing a syncopated wing because it is a syncopated line. Syncopated drawback, ball change, syncopated drawback, syncopated wing. So the whole line, nice and slow, goes one and two and three and four and five. So do that slow with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and ball change. One and two and three and four, five, six, seven. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. One and two and three and four, five, six, seven. Try to do the pullback for y'all. Faster. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. One and two and three and four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight.
do that one more time.
but know that this is actually a turn, but we're just going to do the step. It's full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel. Now, if you were to turn it, it would look like still full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel. One rotation, though. Go left, left, right, go left, right, left. And if you were going to turn it, that's how you would do it. But we are not doing that for the purposes of this video or having such a small space. So you have full left, left, right, full left, right, left. So it's the back heel first. Full left, left, right, full left, right, left. And then you have a buffalo turn, buffalo turn. So it's two buffalo turns. You can turn them into doubles if you want. Um, it's... Or if you're turning it, um, if you wanted to turn it into doubles, you simply make the step a full lap instead. No big. Um, but it's full lap, go, go, full lap, go, go. Step up and cross, step up and cross. That's the feet without considering any turns or any enhancements. Let's just do that. Five, six, seven, eight. Full lap, go, go, go. go for it. I'm not going to, that's not how it's choreographed. But the option is there for you to have a little bit more fun. Then you do the full lap heels again. And then you would just walk in place, five, six, seven, eight. And that's how the combination for you guys is going to end. It does continue on for a noise complaints show, but for you guys it ends there. I feel like it's long enough. <laughs> so you did um, full lap heel, heel, full lap heel, heel. Buffalo turn, buffalo turn, full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to leave this up to you, actually, because I do get tagged in your videos, and I watch every single one, and I love it. On that walk, five, six, seven, eight, since that's the end of your combination, you can improv that. You can pick something else that you want to do there. You have four counts. Get creative. Don't want to? Walk five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. <laughs> but if you want to do something else there, you can go and one, and two, and three, and four. Fine with me. That was jump, pull, back, step, scuff, heel, stamp. The gen. I have my own step now. <laughs> or my own combination of steps. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? Let's just do that. And Or you can improv it. Leave it up to you. But I'm actually going to do that for you guys today. So we did full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel. Buffalo turn, buffalo turn. Full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel. And then at the end, we're going to jump, pull, back, step, scuff, heel, stamp. If you've done my choreography before, I promise you've done it probably. So it's jump, pull back, step, scuff, heel, stamp. Da, 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 da. Okay? So this last part is going to go full left, heel, heel, full left, heel, heel, double step, double step, full left, heel, heel, full left, heel, heel, five, six, seven. I like it. Let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. Five, and six, seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Then we go through the whole thing. That's as fast as it is, that part. That part's actually kind of slow. One more time. We go through the whole thing. We do it with music. Five, six, full, lap, heel, heel. walk through the whole thing, then we do the music a few times, and then we're done. So we have five count riff, seven count riff, shuffle diddle, shuffle diddle, scissor. And then five count riff, seven count riff, ball change, pull back, ball change. So that's...
caught off by that timing as I am, you're not alone. <laughs> um, the last part of that music is so weird. It's one and a three and a three and a four and five and a six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four, five and a six, seven and eight. So it goes super fast and then just slows down at the end. But we will be fine. Remember, first time doesn't count. It's totally going to be terrible, and that is okay. Let's do it. Five count, Rick. Thank you for dancing with me. <laughs> 